Welcome ladies and gentlemen and what an intro. Let's take a look at the 2018 roadmap for PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. Quoting PlayerUnknown himself, This year we want to involve our players in the ongoing development of PUBG even more than before. And to aid with this plan, we plan to open an experimental test server so we can get your valuable feedback on our feature content development cycle sooner and for you to have a real impact on how our game changes and develops going forwards. That experimental test server I believe is open now, that's where I recorded a lot of these emote footage. There's also changes to the scopes, I should have some footage from the test build. It looks more of a 3D scope effect, a lot better than before. It does look pretty nice actually. Of course that footage will be on screen, but the main thing I wanted to talk about, new content and gameplay, Ooh, next month, which is April, we'll be deploying a new 4x4km island map on our experimental test server for you to try out. It's a much smaller map and should give you all a much more intense and faster paced battle royale experience. It will offer higher player density and shorter matches, and we want to get it into your hands early this time around, so we can use your input to make it a greater experience for everyone. And of course, on screen now is a work in progress, kind of top down of the map. It looks pretty nice. Um, looks like it's got those like farms on the side of hills you see in like is it Asia or the Philippines, something like that. Looks pretty nice. Not sure where it's set, but maybe around that area somewhere. Kind of three islands separated by a uh, river cutting through. Could be interesting. Maybe hillside shanty towns, things like that. Smaller map, faster paced. Kind of more my style. I'm actually looking forward to it. Be uh, completely different again playstyle from Miramar, which was a large open world map. Uh, like extremely open world because there's like barely any cover. You've got to really think differently from Erangel. So we don't know what this one's called, I don't think. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it's going to be completely different. A luscious kind of tropical island with, with lush greens and farmland it looks like. It's going to be manic, but I'm going to really enjoy it, I think. Let me know in the comments below what you think and anything you've spotted on the map and where you might think is based. Moving on to emotes, player unknown says we're also ready to begin testing our remote system, which are in the test build, of course, from my footage. You will be able to check it out on our test servers very soon. Bet they're on there now, mate. We're looking forward to receiving your feedback on this new system, and we will continue to expand on the range of emotes available throughout the year. For now, here is a brief preview of some of the work we have been doing on this system. Of course, I didn't use their GIFs on the thing because of quality. I recorded my own on the test build in the replay function. I've been working with our amazing game design team to plan some new and interesting game modes for PUBG. We're still early days when it comes to hammering out all of the kinks and details, so I'm unfortunately not yet at a place where I can share specifics. What? Can't just tease us like that and then be like, nope, just nope out, what? Ah, guess we'll have to wait. We plan to add new vehicles in the first half of the year and want to continue expanding our weapon set. Oh, right, that's pretty good. And also add new weapon attachments this year. Here is a peek of one of the new weapons coming soon. Picture should be on screen right now. Anybody have any idea what this is? Rifle 762, it says on the side there. A, maybe a foul? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Leave it in the comment section below. The team are also working on another new map, planned to be 8 by 8 kilometers in size. As with a smaller map coming to the experimental test servers, we want to get this into your hands early in its development, so you can help us make the gameplay great on this new map. Oh, just throwing maps at us these days. We're ready to begin testing achievements, in-game friends list, and squad voice chat in the main menu. Well, I know achievements work, because on the test build I had two achievements, I believe. Just pop up through Steam, which is pretty cool. I'll try and get the clips of those on screen for you now. We also want to further allow you to customise your character and both parachute. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Parachute. Custom parachute would be pretty sweet. Weapon skins. Oh, yeah. you got to have weapon skins. Everybody else is doing it. Which will be added in the future to help. Wow, wow I like it. We'll also be testing limb and vehicle bullet penetration on the test server later. This will add new depth to our ballistic system and increase the realism of gameplay. We of course will listen closely to your feedback on these new systems, and if you have concerns, please head over to our forums and leave your feedback there. Yeah, definitely go over and leave your feedback guys, it's going to be much needed. There seems to be a lot of changes and, and great kind of improvements coming along. It's um, exciting times for PUBG's future. Make sure you get your feedback in and, and uh, voice your concerns. Best thing to do ladies and gentlemen. In 2018, we are looking at overhauling our entire third-person and first-person animation systems to make them smoother and more reactive to the environment. This will include animations for getting inside vehicles and changing seats while in a vehicle. 
We also want to improve how the vehicle moves to allow our 3D replay to deliver some truly great content. Also on our roadmap is an overhaul of the parachuting system to make it more responsive and polish the overall look of the animations. We are also working to improve our armed and unarmed melee combat system. Wait a minute, we, is this turning into Daisy? Is this going to be, they changed an engine as well to Infusion. Ugh. Other than that guys, there's going to be a lot of stability, optimizations and security fixes, which I guess a lot of you are waiting for. Constantly seeing people saying, what's going on, my game's broke, my game's low FPS or I've crashed again. So hopefully get these optimizations into you, ladies and gentlemen, as soon as possible. But let's move on to sound. In the first half of 2018, we intend to increase the detail of vehicle sounds, which means introducing suspension sounds and more skid marks. Uh, yeah, I guess it make it more immersive with the vehicles having more sounds like, like real life. We also want to work with surfaces that would reflect different weather conditions and add rain sounds to vehicle surfaces. Also in the first half of the year, we're looking at making the gun sounds more distinctly different depending on point of view. In the second half of the year, we plan to change the sound that the player produces while moving, so that it corresponds with the equipment they are carrying. We also plan to introduce different breathing sounds when the player is, for example, running, aiming down sight, or holding breath. There's a massive section about esports. I don't get time to watch esports much, but you know, Battlegrounds is quite, you know, it's getting there in, in the old esports, and the 3D replay system is, is key to allowing organizers to provide a much better coverage of the match. I can't see it going wrong or bad. You know, Battlegrounds is kind of, I guess, designed for the esports kind of thing. First person, you got the replay system, it all kind of goes together really nicely for just watching and, and commentating on. It's got the tools, the accessibility. Got some peeps I know that take part in some of these esports and I'd like to give them some support, you know, watch them live. And finally, custom games. The custom game system will itself be further expanded to allow more fine grain control and quality of life features like saving presets. Hey, that's pretty good. We're also planning to distribute access to a wider audience of players so that there are more custom games available to join at any given time. Yeah, that'll be pretty good. I haven't done a custom game for ages, actually. I completely forgot I could do it. I'm gonna have to jump on that. And that is all, ladies and gentlemen, for the Player Unknown's Battlegrounds 2018 roadmap. Of course, there will be a link in the description below so you can check it out yourself in all of its glory. I don't think I missed much anyway, but uh, you know, it's always there in case. So what do you think of this roadmap? Are you at all excited about the weapon skins or anything else in particular? Let's discuss this in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button, thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you peeps next time. It's all in the reflexes. Sometimes you gotta bait and uh, shoot.